It's the 50 minutes that changed our community forever. Get in the gym, get in the gym. He's like, hurry, run, run, like, tell him to the gym. April 20th, 1999. Oh! The day Columbine High School turned into a war zone. I'm just shaking my head going, I can't believe this is happening. 12 kids and one teacher never came home that day. Now, nearly 17 years since that terrible day. I had all those illusions that everything was okay. For the first time, we are hearing from the mother of one of the gunmen. And I keep thinking, constantly thought, how I would feel if it were the other way around. One of their children had shot mine. Sue Klebold opened up to Diane Sawyer, times breaking down about her son, one of the killers who gunned down 13 people at Columbine High School 17 years ago. Denver 7 investigator Tony Kovaleski spoke to Diane Sawyer this afternoon, and Tony, at the end of the story, we heard Klebold say she is sorry to the victims. Eric Ann, many parents we've talked to during this week have said, why has it taken so long? Bottom line here, there's no question after watching tonight's interview with Sue Klebold, we all have a better understanding of the pain and remorse she experienced. This is an interview that has again stirred things up for all the Columbine families. Sue Klebold told Diane Sawyer at one point she realized she could not run away from this. She talks about the shame. She talks about fear. They were answers to questions that have lingered for nearly 17 years. Has Sue Klebold accepted any responsibility for what happened on that April day in 1999? I think that she has gone back over her life, she says, and tried to look at what she missed. The events of April 20th, 1999, forever changed the lives of students, teachers, parents, and administrators at Columbine. Images and facts permanently embossed in Colorado's history, in America's memory. I, I realize these are kids. I mean, these are kids at high school. And, and what in the world's going on here? Denver 7's John Ferrugia was one of the first reporters to arrive at Columbine. The initial call was a drive-by shooting. In the investigations that followed, we learned Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold had planted bombs and were attempting to blow up the school and kill several hundred. They hated everybody. And they said they, they all deserve to die, and we deserve to die, too. Ferrugia was one of a half dozen reporters who, after the shootings, watched home videotapes made by Harris and Klebold. What is very clear from these tapes is that these two guys were in this together. This was a meticulously planned attack to kill as many people as possible. It was horrible to see those tapes. I remember at one point standing up because I thought I was going to be ill. During the interview, Sue Klebold talked about missing signs in the days and months before the shootings. Proceeds from her upcoming book will all go to mental health, and some parents have voiced concerns that the Klebolds are using mental health issues to deflect responsibility. I couldn't believe that someone like Dylan could intentionally hurt other people. It was inconceivable that that could be something he could do. How does Ms. Klebold answer those concerns? I think she says they were killers. And one of the things we're examining is how does someone go from a mental health issue to violence, to homicide? Before the interview, Denver 7 met with and reached out to all the victims' families, offering an opportunity to comment on Klebold's statements and her decision to now come forward. We both talked to family members. Yep. Didn't want to watch it directly. No. Some told us they were not going to watch the interview, and others respectfully declined any comment at this time. I think the families are thinking, you know what, you don't know the story. <laughs> we know the story. We're, we're living with the story. I just want the families to know that we are going to be reaching out to them again, and we truly want to hear what they say after tonight. Bottom line, we are also looking forward to talking to other parents that have said after watching tonight's show, they think that they will reconsider and possibly talk. The goal of tonight's ABC broadcast was to educate parents about potential warning signs, discuss mental health issues, and possibly prevent the next school shooting. That's a big job. It's huge. And you just heard from a couple of parents literally a minute ago. What the reaction? Just got off the phone, and one of the reactions was that, that they saw Sue Klebold being brutally honest. They said that parents have lived in sorrow for the past 16 and a half years. They saw that Sue Klebold has lived in, in 
a lot, a lot of pain. And, and we also heard earlier today from another parent who basically said, you know, this is not about forgiveness. This is about where has Sue Klebold been for the past 16 yeah. years. So a gamut of reactions. Definitely. All right. Thanks, Tony.